Hey, what's happening everybody? I got a bunch of stuff to do today. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. And the first thing is I gotta go to the bank and get this notary thing signed. There's some uh, some uh, missing property deal from the state where they're holding on to money that is yours that you just have to claim it. So I've gotta go have someone at the bank sign it real quick and then I gotta get food because I haven't eaten yet and I'm starving. Let's go, woo! That went exceptionally well. Now it's off to food. So this place has my favorite Thai food and it's really, really cheap. It's like $7 for a big old thing of Pad Thai or Pad Siu or whatever. All their entrees are seven bucks. What's this dude on the bike doing? And uh, it's just my favorite and I'm gonna get it and I got some groceries to get while I'm here too. So welcome to H Mart, woo! All right, I got the goods. I got the coconut water. I need coconut water. I love coconut water. I bleed coconut water, <clears throat> and I got the pad thai. <clears throat> I got something in my throat. Ah. This stuff is so good. So I'm just gonna chill here and eat for a few minutes because uh, I is hungry. Now that I have my notary done, I've got to get all my documents together and get some stickers together because I have sticker templates and uh, head to the post office. Look at how focused this dog is. <laughs> all right, time to go. So the guy at the bank was telling me that every state has these unpaid wages things. So if you live in the United States, you might want to hop online and see if your state does have that and just put in your name and see if uh, the state owes you any money. I guess I've got some unpaid wages or something. So time to collect. Money from the state is good. So let's head to the post office. Woo! Oh man, my brakes are squeaking like crazy every time I use them. I think I need a brake job. I know that they, they kind of, they pretty much went out. Like they were feeling really soft and they were smoking like mad when I was coming down that mountain in Moab. So I think I need a brake job, but uh, I don't really have the money to do that now. So I think that'll have to wait till I get to Salem. Uh, hopefully my brakes don't go out. They have plenty, they feel like they're still there. Like they're strong enough. They just squeak a lot. All right, at the post office, taking care of business, taking care of business. By the way, every she just switched parking spots. It's hilarious. It's weird how everybody drives so slow in Portland. Everybody's so slow.
<laughs> oh, I love feeling like I got things done. Um, so yeah, it was awesome. When I went in there, I, there was like one person in front of me, and then when I left, there was a whole line of people behind me. It was nuts, dude. So plans, I got plans. But first, I want to thank all of you for watching my videos and supporting me, and um, giving me so much love, man. I get so many amazing comments from you guys, and I'm just so grateful. And I just want to thank all of you for supporting me and uh, watching my videos. So, back to plans. Plans, 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 plans. My plans are, at the end of the month, um, once I get paid from YouTube and Amazon, thank you all very much, by the way, for using my Amazon links. It really helps me out a lot. Um, so, I'm gonna head to Salem, Massachusetts to work the haunted house, and I'm gonna make as many videos as possible. My goal is to become a daily vlogger and uh, do that for at least a year and then see how I feel about it. And, uh, but come mid-October, I'm gonna be working like 13 hour shifts every single day. I'm gonna be working my tail off and I'm not gonna be able to make very many videos or very good videos during that time because it's pretty much work and then I'm just completely exhausted and uh, then I, I shower and sleep and go to bed and that's it. But after that, after uh, October 31st, Halloween, whoo, is the last day. Of, uh, of work there. So then my girlfriend's gonna come and join me from Australia and we're gonna drive, and I'm gonna resume daily vlogs, and we're gonna drive from uh, Salem, Massachusetts down to New Orleans. And it's gonna be epic. It's going to be amazing. All these places that I stopped before, like while we were talking and stuff, she's gonna actually get to see them and see them in person. We actually like, we started like really talking like all the time in Salem when I was working the haunted house. And then um, we became like committed or whatever in Winchester, Virginia. So it'll be cool to show her like those places and then go all the way down to New Orleans. And there's a couple really special people that I met on that trip that I'm going to meet up. Uh, one in North Carolina and one in South Carolina. So I'm gonna meet up with those people again. They're gonna be able to meet my girl and it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be so awesome in daily vlogs. And then she's gonna fly back to Australia in, um, in New, from New Orleans and then um, after that I'm gonna start driving to Southern California I'm gonna go through Southern Texas and uh, I've got some people to meet up with there and head to Southern California and then probably head up uh, Highway 101 all the way from San Diego or is that as far south as it goes I don't know whatever the farthest south I can go without getting into Mexico and then drive all the way up 101 to uh, to Seattle I think that would be awesome and then I'm looking at uh, maybe Alaska but we'll see about that I'm definitely interested in Alaska uh, it depends on what time of the year it is by the time I get there and everything else but that's my big plan and uh, those are my goals that's my vision that's what's gonna happen it's gonna be epic the van's gonna be totally set up uh, while I'm in Salem I've got to get a new auxiliary battery I've got to get a brake job I've got to get my transmission flushed um, what else do I got to do to this van? I think that's about it. Um, while I'm here, oh no, I got to get taxed while I'm here too. Man, I got to come up with some money. I think I'm going to have, I still got some stuff to sell. Hopefully that sells, but I might have to hit up some uh, real estate photography while I'm here so I can get tags and have enough gas money to get to Salem so I can work. Um, yeah, so I'll figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna get to editing a little bit on this video and knock off a couple other things, my list of things to do today. It feels so good to get stuff done. When you get All she cares about is balls. All right, so I got a really nice jump start on uh, editing today's video done, and I'm gonna ride my bike here down to the library. I've been stocking up on audiobooks for this uh, big road trip I'm working on, and uh, one of them's ready for me, so I'm gonna go pick them up. Let's do it.
what a freaking incredible time to be alive. So I just got out of the library and I was just going to pick up one book that I had on hold and I got a whole bag full of them. I got a ton of them, check this out. So a bunch of people asked me uh, what audiobooks I get. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. Silence by uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, Multiple Streams of Income by Robert G. Allen. We got Daniel H. Pink's To Sell as Human. It's uh, talking about how everybody's a salesman. I thought that was interesting. I'm like, what? I wanna hear more about that. Uh, Dr. Wayne Dreyer's Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. We got The, the Secret, if I don't drop it. Uh, this is the one I actually had a whole Dale Carnegie's uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And then uh, Robert Kiyosaki's, um, what's this one called? Uh, Rich Dad's Conspiracy of the Rich, The Eight Rules of Money. So yeah, I'm totally set now, man. What better time to be alive than right now? This is incredible. Invest in yourself. I'm telling you, it's the best investment. Finally back. Um, wow, that felt good to ride my bike, but it is hot. Um, so I'm gonna start burning these. So there's uh, one more book that I got the other day that I am ripping and it is Man's Search for Meaning. This is written by a dude that survived the Holocaust and learned so much about being happy and uh, this is going to blow my freaking mind. I know it. So the one thing I really, really need to work on and it's becoming way obvious now is that when I think of something, I need to just do it instead of thinking, oh, I'll just do it later when I feel like it. I need to do it now. I need to do it as soon as I think of it and just get it over with and get it done because otherwise I get backed up on emails. I get backed up on all the stuff I have to do and I have to spend a whole day in this crazy frenzy like I am today. So from now on, I'm not going to be afraid of being impulsive. I'm going to allow myself to be impulsive and I'm going to allow myself to do things as they come up as long as I know they're not gonna hurt anybody or something like that. Like, obviously like going out and spending a thousand dollars on something I don't need or, uh, or driving too fast is a stupid thing to do and I'm not gonna do that. But once I think of something, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna stop wasting time with this procrastination because it's BS and I'm tired of it. So uh, that's my number one change right now. That's what I'm working on. Uh, the rest of the night, I'm pretty much just gonna edit this video and rip all these awesome audiobooks I got and fill my head with knowledge and uh, become what I think about. So thank you guys for watching so much and love yourself. Woo! Yeah, ooh, we got a train and something back there just sounded really bad. I'm gonna time lapse this train while I'm talking to you because this will look awesome. Oh, I gotta hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, get the camera set up, get the camera set up. Rolling, bam. Okay, so time lapse is going, that's awesome. This is gonna be great, I love trains. So, um, oh, this is gonna be really loud too. This is a good test of this mic. So yeah, so head to Salem, Massachusetts and like the beginning of September through the middle of October, I'll make as many videos as possible. And then, um, wow.